Consent Manager, in order to respect user privacy and comply with privacy laws like GDPR or CCPA regulations, lets you gather visitor consents to collect data and efficiently manage all data subject requests from one place. In Puig Pro, by using Consent Manager, you can configure consent pop-ups and policy privacy widgets. You can edit each template on a visual editor and adjust options on the right side. You can adjust a text, a link to your privacy policy page, colors, size, style, fonts, and many more. You can also customize or create the forms and widgets via Consent Manager API. To confirm all changes, click the Save button at the top. Let's take a look at Consent widgets first. You can use these widgets to gather consent decisions from your visitors. Consent widgets are displayed when visitors first arrive at your website. Here we have two options, consent form as a model and consent form as a button bar. A model consent form is a large pop-up that shows up in the middle of the screen asking for consent to data collection and usage. Depending on what types of tags you're using, the consent will have few consent types, for example, analytics, conversion tracking, remarketing, and more. A button bar is a small bar at the bottom of the page with types of consents associated with the tags. For both of them, you can set following forms. A consent form, consent form single tag type, consent form success note, and consent form failure note. Once you choose one of the options, model or button bar, and configure the forms, you have to activate the consent form type. A consent form template is a basic template used when you run multiple tag types requiring specific consent. In the editor, you'll see all types of consents. You can change their names, but you can't remove them from the template. They will show up on your website only if you are running a tag with a corresponding consent type. Consent form single tag type is a simpler version of the consent form and it's useful when you run only one tag type. This form will show a short text and buttons to agree or disagree for consent. Consent form success note shows up once a visitor makes a decision about data collection and usage. It will show up for visitors who agreed, partially agreed, and disagreed to data collection and usage. The success note is optional and you can turn it on or off. Consent form failure note shows up when there is a problem with saving the choices a visitor makes in a consent form. In most cases, the note appears when there are some problems with an internet connection. Reminder widget is a sticky bar displayed at the top or as a corner button of the page to remind visitors about their rights regarding collection and processing of their data for specific purposes. It is optional to turn it on or off. Now let's move on to the privacy policy page widgets. The first consent form link lets visitors view and manage privacy settings. Once you copy the snippet code, you'll need to add it on your privacy policy page. Data Subject Requests widget lets visitors to send three types of requests which are required by GDPR. Once you copy the snippet code, you'll need to add it on your privacy page. Data Subject Request Success Note gives your visitor information that his request was successfully sent to the data administrator and will be processed shortly. Data Subject Request Failure Note is a template for notification after a failed data subject request. It lets a visitor to try again and let him review and adjust their consent status and choose data subject rights. Now let's move on to the section where you can manage subject requests. As required by the GDPR, each data subject request, such as data erasure, data rectification, and data access and portability, is recorded. From this panel, you can review each data subject request and change its processing status. The primary goal of this section is to gather the time and date of any request submission. 
It also allows tracking the progress and status of data subject requests to make sure all requests are processed in a timely manner. Clicking here, you can update each request status to To Do, In Progress, and Resolved. If you click on the arrow next to the request, you can view information about the request like the visitor's message and a first-party cookie data. You can also click the request to see the history of visitor consents and requests. When you hover over the in progress and resolved status, you can see who and when set the status for this request. In Consent Manager settings, we've got some additional options to set up. First of all, we can activate this option if you want to serve consent pop-ups again after 6 months since the last consent form view. Thanks to that, all consents which a visitor refused or didn't give consent to will be displayed again. The second option lets us import consent setup from another website. Thanks to that, you won't need to set the same options again for every website one by one. All the text and styles and setup from constants forms, top bars and widgets will be imported. Please note that the setup from the website settings won't be imported. Let's move on to the last feature, which allows you to add and manage multiple languages to your consent form and widgets. Once you added new languages to your list, you can translate your consent form and widgets into the languages you added. Please note that the languages are not live yet. You need to translate the copy first and then activate the language to make it available for your visitors. After configuring Consent Pop-ups and Privacy Policy widgets in Consent Manager, it's time to enable it on your website. To do that, please head to Administration, then click on Websites and Apps, and then choose Desired Website or App. Scroll down to the Privacy section, and by clicking on Configure, you can enable it and adjust other Consent Manager settings if needed. Once Consent Manager is enabled on your website, first-time visitors receive a consent form asking for permission to collect data for a defined set of purposes, which you can specify and update at any moment. Let's say that somebody doesn't consent to a specific set of data or just leaves this pop-up without ticking anything. In this case, tags that require consent will not be fired. According to GDPR, you need to create a privacy policy page on your website. There, your visitors can always get back to defining a set of data being tracked. Thanks for watching. You can find more information on our help center.